using flint and steel is the simplest way of igniting your cannon's projectile. And for simple cannons, it's usually enough. But it's hard to get the maximum delay that way, and multi-projectile cannons only make the problem worse. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a projectile timer that will give you the longest possible fuse time, and simplifies igniting multiple projectiles. The most important thing to remember when making the timer is how much delay you need. The fuse for TNT is 4 seconds long, and one redstone tick, equal to the first level on a redstone repeater, is 1 tenth of a second long. So, we want our delay to be 10 repeaters, set to the maximum delay. This will ignite the projectile at the last possible moment before the main TNT go off, giving you the most possible time before the projectile explodes. Now let's put this in a cannon. First, dig a hole under your cannon. How big it is doesn't matter much, as long as you have enough room to work. Now, at the back, dig in a stair pattern like this. On the middle block, place redstone on the top, and a redstone torch on the side. Now place a line of blocks going towards the front, 10 long. This is where the repeaters will go, so place them now. At the front of the repeaters, place a block and put a redstone torch on it. This torch will be the piece responsible for ignition. When it is on, it will power the block above it, which will ignite the TNT. Because of the torch at the other side of the repeaters, this torch will be off right now. Technically, these two torches do add an additional 2 ticks of delay to the ignition, but because the repeaters used for the main TNT charge add 2 ticks of delay there, the end result is no additional delay. If you are using a cannon that doesn't have additional delay in the main TNT, just change one of the repeaters from 4 to 2 ticks. Using an auto ignition system for the projectile makes firing a cannon literally a one click endeavor. While my system is below ground, you can also ignite it from above ground. This method will require you to account for the falling time of the projectile by reducing the delay, but you gain the advantage using different launch platforms. And that will be my next tutorial going over the different kinds of launch platforms that you can use and their pros and cons. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest creations and tutorials.